guys, it's Kayla. I'm here today with another video for you. This week's video is just going to be an update on Otis and a tour of his go bag and what's inside. So let's get into it. Alright, so Otis is back from the trainers, which I'm super happy about. Um, he came home on Thursday? Yeah. Thursday I went and picked him up and did a training class with our trainer and then I brought him home so he could go to the vet to get his rabies shot and he is all done with all his puppy vaccines so he can now go everywhere with me including pet stores and anywhere where other dogs are. So that's super nice and I'm happy that he's all done with everything. And then um, he's doing super super well. He's four and a half months old now so he's you know not anywhere near done with the training but he's still going everywhere with me out in public and he's so well behaved he doesn't have any problems he is quiet doesn't bother anyone just like sits next to me and it's great he's super sweet and everyone loves him everyone wants to pet him which is unfortunate for me because I have to tell people no but <laughs> most of the time they understand so besides that, um, Otis is actually going to be staying with me now. Um, he was supposed to go back to his trainers for a few weeks, but I just decided that it would be better for him to be with me. It's better for my anxiety just because I get kind of anxious when he's away from me and so it's easier when he's with me and it's just I think better for him too. He's super attached to me which is a good and bad thing. Yes, a service dog does need to be very attached to their handler but also it's to the point where I can't leave the room without him crying. So we're working on that just kind of trying to get him to you know pay attention to me but realize he can be away from me sometimes I do have to leave him at home and there will be days or places where I just cannot take him even though yes service dogs are allowed everywhere by law um there's just going to be some times where I'm going to need to leave him at home so he has to learn to be at home as well as going out with me so that's what's going on right now and a little update on Otis. He'll be at home with me probably for the next few months just while things are going on. He um, isn't necessarily learning that much new stuff. He's just getting into the routine of being a service dog and being in public and he can't necessarily learn the tasks right now. He's pretty young for that. We work on them but he's not old enough to learn them in entirety so. I'm going to sit back so you guys can see me, but this is Otis's go bag, it's just a backpack. Um, I did have it in like over the shoulder bag, but um, every time I would reach down to do something with Otis, give him a tree or clean up an accident or anything in a store, it would fall off my shoulder. So that was kind of annoying and I transferred it into a backpack. Now when he is older, I won't need to bring this everywhere with me. But right now, I do just because he is only four months old. He's not 100% potty trained. He's really good. He hasn't had an accident in the store in weeks, but it might happen. And so I need to have the stuff with me to clean it up, and I just need to have everything else he needs. So in this bag, there's everything he needs, and I'm going to show you what's inside. So in the front pocket, I have a bag of pretzels. Those are mine. <laughs> I just was snacking and forgot to put them in there. But um, I have some of my stuff, just like my medication that I take, and um, these are his service dog trainer's cards and ADA cards that list the laws. So if anyone is harassing me about it, I can give it to them and say, look, read this. This says what you can and can't ask me, and that service dogs are legally required to be allowed in pretty much everywhere I go. So that's all that's in the front pocket of his bag. So I'm going to show you what's in the main compartment. Main compartment, I have his treat pouch. So it's just like this. It has like the belt loop clip. And inside, um, there's just a plastic bag that has some kibble and other treats in it that I use um, during the day when I'm out with him and training him. And then I have hand sanitizer. And that's just because sometimes when I'm out and cleaning up accidents or, I don't know, get dog slobber in my hand from him or something, and I just need my hands to be clean and I'm not near a sink, hand sanitizer. So that's in there too. And then Otis just got a new vest today in the mail. So this is his new vest. 
it just says in training on both sides and what's really nice about this is that they are velcro so I can pull it off and stick it back on and then I can replace it with like a service dog one when he's older um, this one just says in training on both sides I have other patches coming in the mail that um, say like service dog do not disturb those kind of things um, but this is all we have right now because I returned his smaller vest to the trainer because I was borrowing it and so this is all we have right now it just says in training but I should be getting the patches in the next few days in the mail um, and then I have a expandable dish so this is just a little dish and it's like plastic inside so it doesn't leak through um, for water when we're out usually I don't like to give him water when we're out just because um, I don't want him to have an accident as he's a puppy, um, but if I'm out for a long period of time, like more than an hour or two, or if he just seems thirsty, I'll give him water and I have a bottle of water in here too. So I have that in there and then I have little dispenser, it looks like a little dog bone, has a little zipper it can clip on with little poop bags in it. So in case he has an accident <laughs> again and then I have a bone in here it's just like a white bone um has a hole in the middle sometimes I'll put peanut butter in it if I'm gonna be gone for like a really really long time and he's in his crate or something but I'm not gone for a long time without him so I don't usually do that but this is just for like long car rides or if he's out with me for a super long time um somewhere where we're gonna be sitting for a long time or at like a family member's house obviously I'm not giving it to him out in public like Oh, hey, we're at the store. Here's a bone. Chew on it. No, I'm not going to do that. But just if we're somewhere for a really long time, I have a bone in there just in case. And then in here for cleaning, I have this. It's the Simple Green Bio Dog. Um, and so it's like very... What's my... What am I trying to say? <laughs> it's very natural, like friendly to the environment, that kind of thing. Um, it's not... It doesn't have a lot of harsh chemicals, so I can use it wherever, whenever I'm cleaning up. Um, and I have paper towels too, so paper towels, cleaner in the bag just in case he has an accident, and baby wipes. You wouldn't think that you would need baby wipes for a dog, but... Believe it or not, they come in handy for a lot of things. I don't know, sometimes you have dirty hands, you want to wipe your hands off. He has dirty paws, I want to wipe his paws off. Like, sometimes you just need them. So, I have baby wipes in here. And then, just last but not least, another little bag that has, um, this is just the Wellness brand Puppy Treats. And he loves these, they're like puppy crack. <laughs> and, um, so I have these, these are like more of a high reward treat for him. Um, so I just have these in here in case he's doing extra good or I need to put more in my little tree pouch or whatnot. So those are just extras and that's all that's in his go bag. So this is what I bring with me on like a daily basis whenever I'm out with him. Usually it also has like his harness and his leash in it. Um, so I know where it is at all times when I come home and they take it off and then I take it off and put it right in the backpack and then it just is on a hook by my front door. So whenever I go out with him, I just grab it and we can go and I have everything I need. Um, really traveling or doing anything with a service dog this young is a lot of work actually. People don't think about it but service dogs are a lot of work and it's not a luxury to have a service dog it's not like oh my god yay I get to take this dog everywhere with me it's so great I want to do it you don't have a service dog usually because you want to it's because you need them so that's why I have a service dog at least is because I need him for something like obviously he does like medical alert tasks and other things and I wouldn't have him if I didn't need him so it's not a luxury. It's not, hey, I get to bring my dog everywhere with me. He's not a pet. He's a service dog. There's a difference, and obviously it's not a great thing to have to have one, but I am appreciative that I do and was able to get one because a lot of people who need service animals can't afford them or aren't able to get them for one reason or another. It's really frustrating, and I'm very lucky that I was able to. So that is really it for this week's video. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a tour of his bag, see what I bring with him and give you a quick little update on him. So he'll be home, he'll be in the videos probably in the next few weeks. Um, I don't know if he'll be in every video. I'll put, I'll put some clips in or show you him in a few minutes. Um, 
he's just eating dinner right now but he'll be in the videos and so you'll get to see him more often he's growing like crazy we took him to the vet as I said like to get his last shots and he weighs 35 pounds so he's huge which is I love it and it's kind of troublesome at the same time I have a pretty small car so We'll see when he's bigger. Um, our other Labradoodle is 95 pounds and the size of a Great Dane. So <laughs> when he gets bigger, he may not fit in my car and I might need a new car. So <laughs> we'll see about that. And just I'll keep you updated on his growth and how he's doing and how he's doing with training. So here is Mr. Otis. He's going to say hello and I'll show you. See if I can get him <laughs> to sit. Okay. Oh. Hi, buddy. Oh, I know. Thank you for the kisses. Um, here he is. He's going to yawn. Let's see. We can get closer. Oh. Hi, bud. Um, but he's adorable as ever. And just a love bug. He's my little guy. He's so special. I'm so, so, so thankful and blessed to be able to have him. I'm so lucky that I was able to get him and everything's working out great. I'm so unbelievably thankful. I can't say it enough that he's in my life and I have him and it's really helping me. And I'm just amazed at everything and how lucky I am. So... Say hi to Otis and oh, <laughs> he's covering my face. There's air in my mouth. Um, you'll see him though in the videos, and I'm gonna put a little link at the end of this one with him at his first trip at the beach. So if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Um, either if you want me to answer them in a video or if you just want me to reply to you, you can tweet me or leave it in the comments and I will try and answer your questions. So anything you want to know, even if it's personal, I'm here doing this to help people. It's not just for me. Um, it's so that people realize they're not alone. A lot of people suffer from PTSD or anxiety disorder and a lot of people have service dogs and it's okay. It's not something to be ashamed of or something that you need to be embarrassed about. I was embarrassed of it for a really long time and wasn't able to tell people, but I finally realized that the people who love me wouldn't care. And so I just had to let it go and tell everyone and that's what I did so I am so happy that I did that it has changed my life in such a positive way to have everyone around me and all my family and everyone who cares about me know everything that's going on and it makes my life a thousand times easier and I have probably far less anxiety now than I did before just from people knowing so it is okay for people to know if you're embarrassed don't be and I'm always here for support if you need someone to talk to so leave it in the comments or tweet me or if you want it to be private like tweet me and then um ask me to like contact you or something um so if you don't want everyone to know about it if you just want to ask me privately just send me a private question and I'll answer it to you um so I'm just here for you and I want everyone to know that all right, I hope everyone's having a great week and we'll see you next week. Bye.